Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Hello, Graveyard Talkers. Welcome to another episode of Graveyard Talking. My name's Randy. I'm your host. So yesterday I did a, a, a session in another part of this cemetery. And today I went to the other side and I was looking for a zinc headstone. Now you'll see this one here says zinc on it. Help it get your butt out of there. This one says zinc on it, but it's not a zinc headstone. This is a zinc headstone. This headstone belongs to the zinc family. When I find a zinc headstone, I'm going to do a session by one. I'm going to tell you a little bit of history about it if you never knew what a zinc headstone was. So, or marker or monument, whatever you want to call it. So with that, we're going to start our session. Uh, hopefully we'll have as good a session as we had a little bit ago, and or, or in our last episode rather, and we'll go from there. Got my new speaker still working fine. I'm hearing a lot better now. And with that, we'll start today's session. To the spirits here, my name is Randy. I mean you no harm. I have two devices in my hand. I got a cell phone. I got a speaker. For those individuals who are uh, who understand what these are, they can explain them to you. One is just a telephone, but it does not use any wires anymore. It will not harm you. The other one's a speaker, like you might have found in your car or your radio at home. Neither one will hurt you. I will not hurt you. This is a no judgment zone. If you need help, let me know. Maybe one of the guardian uh, spirits are out there to help you. So with that, we'll get started with today's session. All right, I heard Bill come through. Bill, my name's Randy. Would you do you have something that you would like to say to us? What? All right, I was looking around to see here on the grave on the footstones if there was anybody by the name of William or Bill here. I see nobody. Bill, where are you at? All right, so Bill comes through and then he's gone quiet. So he just probably wanted to let us know that he was there. Is there anyone else who has a message would like to speak? And I got a construction vehicle again. I don't know what they're doing. They're loading up dirt from back there, probably from the burials. They're probably just getting rid of it. This is a cemetery that's owned by the city. Um, and it is one of the first cemeteries in the country. So we'll let this truck go by and then we will um, start our session once again. And got himself another, another full load of dirt. All righty. So Bill's gone a little bit quiet. Is there somebody else who would like to get their message out? All right, somebody said I would at the beginning. Who would like to get their message out? Please give me your name. Walter. Play. Okay, so hearing a lot of the word play in there. Now, I heard altar. I'm not sure if that was altar or altar men. At one time, the city of Monroe, where I'm at, had altar men instead of uh, council members. 
uh, way back in the day. <clears throat> I don't believe they have altermans now, but like city of Chicago has altermans. And um, so I'm, I'm not even sure what an alterman's job is. In California. Sorry. And then I have to ask. Um, the person who said alter or alter men did you have a did you have a question for me did you have something you wanted to say so as we all know we all done different things throughout our lives jobs our hobbies somebody have something unique that they did in life whether it was a hobby whether it was a job whether you collected something weird maybe you collected snails um would you like to get that point across would you like to get that across to me so we know what you used to used to do for fun for a hobby for work whatever all right i'll see what we can uh, pull out of that a lot of stuff come through but i didn't hear anything that would have said what they did but you know i do believe they put stuff on here and then later on i'm able to go through and listen to it that it doesn't come out maybe they know they can't get the information out because there's so much cross talking if you now this cemetery as we all know is old to my right is a very prominent family of monroe back in the day on the back side of the camera in front of me are some revolutionary uh, soldiers uh, who were here when this country was being founded. Um, I wonder what some of you who have been here for for us centuries, pretty close to two centuries, what do you think about the world, how it is today? Good. You do it. Let me. I'm curious what came through because I thought I heard oh, and then there was another voice that came in here. Um, maybe they don't like what's going on. I don't know. Um, I thought I heard Mary Ellen way, way, way down low. Mary Ellen, did I hear you come through? All right, so one of the other questions uh, that I always get is, what's it like being a spirit? Can somebody tell me the best part of being a spirit? Once you passed away, what's the best part of you being a spirit? Good <laughs> If you have questions, for those who are listening to me, if you have questions or watching this video, please, down in the comments below, put your questions in there. I wrote up a list of 35 questions, and um, it gets tough coming up with new questions and new things to talk about. And your, your, your view on this is different than my view on this. So please, you'd really help me. You'd help the spirits. You'd help yourself in the comments here. Why don't you put in there a question? 
um, that I could ask the spirits one of the next times that I'm out. Tell me what your name is, how you'd like me to address you. You know, I can say this is from Carrie in California. She wants to know. Because um, I would like to ask your questions and not just mine. How would the spirits feel about that if I asked you questions from all over the country and maybe even all over the world from other people? I heard that's fine. And then I thought I heard voicemail. Yeah, I guess it would be kind of like voicemail. All righty. So to the spirits, the, the weather is starting to get warm. Uh, today's a warm day, but we do have some cold days ahead of us yet. And this is the way Michigan is. It'll get up into the 70s and then it'll drop down. We won't stay warm, warm for another, goodness, two months yet to where it will be warm all the time. So um, what do you guys think about the weather getting warm? Does it make you more active? It seems like the cold weather makes you not as active from what I found out. So is this warm weather making you more active? Okay, somebody said maybe he don't know what he's talking about. You know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm asking you because I don't know. I'm not a spirit. I'm not a spirit. You know, there's billions upon billions of spirits in this country. And uh, I think I looked the other day with approximately a guesstimate was 775 billion spirits. So since 1776, 775 billion people who lived in America have passed away. So I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm trying to get that information from you so I can pass it on to the viewers of this channel. So it helps me. It helps them when our time comes that we have to cross over. All righty, guys. So I've got about a minute left here. And uh, this will be a time I'm going to let this run for about 30 seconds. If you got something you'd like to say to me, to the people who are watching this, to your family, now would be the time to uh, put that thought across. <laughs> I'll have to, you'll see what, if it's up here on here, I'll put it up here. <laughs> I hope it said what it said, but uh, I hope that's what it said. I'm not going to say what I think it said. I hope it said that, and then you'll understand what I'm laughing about. If it didn't show up, I'm not going to mention it. It's fine. Alrighty, with that, I think I'm going to close out this session with that. And I want to thank everybody here for joining me and Topa on my journey uh, to find out what it's really like after you die, when you become a spirit, and whether or not I have anything to fear when it's my time to go. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, if you find this interesting, and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. If you are subscribed to the channel, and even not, please let this video run all the way through. I'm trying to keep it somewhere around 15 minutes so it's not too long. Um, but if you watch it all the way through, YouTube will see that you're watching it. Uh, if you give it a thumbs up, and if you subscribe, it will really help the channel. I'm this close where I can monetize the channel at the first level. 
And uh, I need to get up to a thousand to really be able to monetize it. I'm sitting at about 471 right now, and I need to make that thousand uh, uh, subscriber. Uh, so YouTube says, yeah, he's a channel now. So if you do that, I would appreciate it. And remember what I always say, you're not here for me. You're not here to listen to me. You're not even here for my journey. Maybe you can come here for your journey. But we're really here to listen to what the Zinc family had to say. What everyone in the cemetery, all the spirits had to say. Not me. I just bring you what they say and put it up on the screen. And I hope you enjoy that. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.